Hi there guys, my name's Chris, welcome back. Today I'm going to be reassembling the lower receiver and everything on it on my KWA LM4. Took it apart quite a while ago now actually, um, I wanted to get the lower receiver uh, Cerakoted and uh, engraved. I've just today got it back, um, some of the other parts on the gun as well. Uh, so yeah, I, I totally stripped it down to component parts, you can all see them lined up here. Um, the, literally the only thing left on the lower when I sent it off to get the uh, work done was the trigger guard uh, because this uh, this spring pin just here uh, when you hammer it out these sort of ears on the lower can break quite easily and I don't have the appropriate block to sit it on and then hammer that supports the, um, the tang as you remove the, the pin so yeah, I've broken uh, a gun before in that area, so I left that in, but literally everything else, even down to the detents that hold in the receiver pins, I've removed before having it done. Cerakoted FDE, got the nasty fucking KWA trades off of there, got my own stuff engraved. So yeah, that's good to go now. Buffer tube, so we're just going to be doing th through the, the lower in this video, I'll do one on the upper later on. Start off, obviously, we're going to sort of work this pretty much goes in the smallest bits along here and along there it goes up to the largest stuff so to actually mount the receiver while I work on it <clears throat> so yeah it's a magazine I've modified it's just a cheap plastic mid cap I did a video about this before I just filed a couple of surfaces here which means it will fit into the lower of the LM4 because I don't think it probably would actually still work, but I just use it as a tool now, so that sits in the vise. Just clamp out the stuff that I need. Lower sits on, and there you go, got a really good platform for actually doing your work. Uh, when you're trying to put pins in and out and stuff, it's not going to you don't have, you know, uh, the lower or the gun just sliding up around the table. It's set there and you can get the work done. So first thing we will start with the front the pivot pin as it's called. I have a rear pin. The first thing, now that those takedown pins are in, this actual block which holds the uh, buffer unit, this spring and detent here, and also has the threaded hole underneath for the pistol grip, this has to go in before the trigger or the hammer or any of those parts, uh, because this sits underneath all of those. Now at this point, the actual the internal components, small ones, I've, I've already given a good clean while they're out in this state. Um, as you can see there, like that's literally just from, that's not from this lower receiver, that was all clean, that's not from any of these larger components, that's literally just off stuff like the trigger and the hammer, uh, the firing pin housing, that's how, uh, that's how much crap and nasty oily greasy shit was on all of them, even, you know, even just little things like that, so you want to make sure that sort of stuff clean. Now as we go on to actually installing the trigger, the main semi-auto sear was already sat inside, you can see that's a separate piece. The spring is already on, spring legs go to the front, this is a quite a tricky part because you've got to hold these. Triggers in, looking good so far, all works. Next thing's the hammer, we've got our spring already installed, uh, we've got these That's the, the larger of the two bearings on the hammer. That is working. Next part is this plate. What this does, a lot of other types of guns you see people install anti-rotation links because the pin for the hammer and trigger can work out of the sides of the lower as you fire the weapon. This is something KWA came up with. Uh, it just sits there's basically the pins on the hammer and trigger and main sear have grooves. These two cuts on this plate sit on those grooves. 
and the plate itself is held in by the full auto sear pin and that pin is held in by an e-clip so yeah basically none of these pins in the lower can ever work their way out of the gun that's in and lines up next part I'm going to do is the firing pin block this holds the sort of the, the valve striker as well as the bolt lock and there's a couple of different springs and pins inside here Now the firing pin block is seated and can actually fit the magazine catch, that's what holds this in place. So that's working. Next thing is the selector, is the uh, before PTS slots, they're Magpul license. These are the selectors they made. Uh, there's one for the KWA and KSC uh, gas blowback rifles, and there's another one out there, I think, for the WE. Obviously, they're no longer in production. That's the main body of it in. So, we'll click it around, you can set it to safe. Gun won't fire, semi, all good. Place on the other half. Again, they're definitely working because the uh, won't, gun won't go to safe while it's not cocked. Cock the hammer, safety goes on. All we've got now is our full auto sear. This is what's going to hold in our retaining plate that we saw earlier. This point, pretty much all the lower internals are retained, all the pins, by that plate. And then it's literally just this motherfucker that's going to hold in the pin for the full auto sear. that in uh, now we'll move on to the slightly larger parts I'll do the buffer tube now uh, at this point break out a little bit of the lock tube. before that though castle nut thread that on slim plate drops on I'm just gonna Get a bit of Loctite, it's just uh, number 242, doesn't tell you much, that's all I've put on there. A couple of thread, threads worth, it's, you, know, you don't need to be massively precise about it. That'll just stop the tube uh, moving around. Uh, in this case, I'll screw the buffer tube all the way in. Uh, until, until the ASAP actually hits onto the lower. Can't, can't rotate it any more than that, so put the ASAP in place. Screw down the castle on that. Make sure your buffer tube's actually straight. Pretty easy to get that wrong. Tightening down the castle on that is a bit of an art to it. Find what happens is right right now this is slightly on the skew because uh, as you tighten the castle nut it turns the whole buffer tube around so I'm gonna have to loosen this one off slightly and basically you apply pressure to the buffer tube in the opposite direction and try and make it stay uh, central as you tighten the castle nut. Pretty much pretty much there now. It'll show more when you uh, when you attach your stock. It's quite difficult to see because obviously the stock is uh, is longer. The any degrees that you're off in the straightness of the buffer tube are shown more uh, with that. Uh, I think my needs. I think I've applied almost a little bit too much. 
that smells good as I'll get it. See, that's all, that's pretty much all the actual uh, metal work done. I know my pivot pin and take down pins work at this point, it's just your, uh, your polymer furniture to put on. So, uh, I've got my stock here, it's, uh, it was a uh, hydro dipped by uh, camolab.co.uk. I'll put a link down to them in the description. Just got that done in the multicam, got a 0.7 inch. Uh, extension butt pad on the rear here. Some Now Magpul stocks vary, sometimes you'll pretty much need this tool uh, to get them on which just hooks in to the detent pin in here. Uh, some of them, this one luckily, this pin actually extends further out, it actually protrudes and you can get a hold of it. Not all of them are like that. So that's when you need that tool, but luckily this one's all right, so you can do it by hand. Just stop, stop onto there. There we go, that's on. And then for the pistol grip, BCM gunfighter grip. Uh, and this has been a hydro dip by Camo Lab. It's just in case you're finding the right size Allen driver, you need quite a long driver for this. So yeah that holds in that block in there. Pistol grips attached now nice and solid. Buffer tube luckily is nice and straight. Managed to get that right. Lowers it all functions. So there we go that is the assembled lower receiver for the LM4. Uh, part two to come doing the upper. Uh, cheers for watching guys, social media jazz is all down in the description box and uh, thanks again, I'll see you next time.